Another game we use as a warm-up is the Finn 4 vs 3. Here the objective is to maintain puck possession on your half of the ice. We draw a line down the ice using a marker or spray paint to create two equal zones. Four players on the offensive side of the ice are allowed in that area and only three of the defenders, so one player must stay on their offensive side of the ice at all times. This creates a numerical advantage for the offensive team similar to a power play or what might be your offensive goals as a team. The players are not allowed to pass the puck from one side of the ice to the other. Rather, it must be skated, so when the defenders get possession of the puck, they must find a way to get the puck across the center zone without turning it over. They may have to make several passes in their half of the ice before they can get a clean entry across to their offensive zone. When they do, three of the players from the original offensive side now go over and play defense. Much like a game where transition occurs, where you're playing offense, you lose possession of the puck, and then you're forced to play defense. In this game, we go for 40 to 45 seconds, and it really encourages close support of the puck, players moving their feet when they don't have the puck, and players with the puck to play with their head up and feet moving as much as possible. In this game here, the O's have the puck, and they're trying to maintain possession on their half of the ice. If the X's are fortunate to get it and steal it, again, they must skate across the ice before they become the offensive team. And it may require a player to move to a position to get a pass before they can get across cleanly. It also forces teams that are defending to get pucks, but offensive teams when they lose it to quickly transition both mentally and physically to defensive hockey. As your individual players or teams progress through this game, you then can allow passing across which then forces the player on the offensive side who is hanging to find open ice and not be stationary. Puck support is such a critical component of offensive hockey and it really falls on the individual players to find open ice and understand where the puck is and where they can best go to receive a pass and become an offensive opportunity for their teammates. Again, red offensive side, gray offensive side, skating it across, skating it across. The players need to move without the puck within a confined area on their offensive side to maintain possession of the puck. Change of sides, now Gray will come across trying to maintain possession on their offensive side of the puck. Once they skate across, they're on offense, now they've got to stop moving the puck. Go gray and green, gray and green, gray and green. Green this side, gray that side, green, gray. Right there you see a player on his defensive side. The player's still on offense, try to take it away from him, win it back. Guys don't want to throw the puck away and lose possession of it. Green steals it now. They're on the offensive side against three grays. Again, moving around in the area to maintain puck possession. Keep it off the wall if we can. Keep it off the wall. No blind passes. Switch it up, got to skate it across, skate it across. 